Hi, I'm John Bradford and I run High Tech Bristol and Bath and we recently delivered Vox Days Bristol 2016 here in the watershed. Okay, uh, I'm Simon Metzen, I work for IBM's Cloud Data Services uh, and this is my first Vox Days uh, event. Uh, I'm based in Bristol, so I'm, I'm familiar with Bristol but not so much the Vox Day stuff. Um, and I was involved in some of the programming committee here, so I've been able to sort of see it from its uh, you know, formative stages right through to the event that we've got today. Um, a really nice atmosphere, really nice vibe. We've got a great venue for it, um, but also a great selection of talks. Really nice range of uh, topics and speakers. Um, when we were pulling together the agenda, we were sort of very careful about not getting too dominated by one technology or one company. And I think we've done quite a good job of kind of mixing that up a bit. Um, and already there's some really interesting conversations this morning um, and some really great talks already. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the rest of the day and uh, the next one of these events, hopefully uh, this time next year. Thanks a lot. So Vox Days is a developers conference by developers and for developers, and we had fantastic engagement from the community uh, long before the conference took place. After the call for papers had gone out, we reviewed all the submissions that came in, and we came down around three broad tracks of programming, cloud data, and cloud architecture. And those reflected the themes that we were seeing from those submitted papers. On the day, we had 21 sessions across those three tracks, with over 200 delegates participating. Hello, my name is James Strachan. I work at Red Hat on lots of cool open source substitute projects. Um, I've just lost my Vox Cherry today. I've been to my first ever Vox. It was really, really awesome. Um, for me, it's lucky it's kind of local. I could drive here today, which is really nice. It's it flying. Um, I've seen some amazing talks. My head's still spinning with all of the various talks. I need to lie down or a stiff drink later today, but it's been awesome. The content's been brilliant. Uh, lots of interesting hallway discussions. Uh, I highly recommend Vox again. Cheers. Hello there, Vox. Uh, Martin Thompson here. It's uh, so my first time in Bristol in 20 years. Decided to come here and just to check out the place again, because last time I was here I was looking at insurance companies. It's nice to come back and see how it's changed. It's changed a lot. Like around the water side here has really been brightened up quite a lot. I do miss the fact that one of my favorite old Indian restaurants is now gone and is no longer here anymore. But that's by the by. It's been a great chance to sort of turn up here today, catch up with some friends that I haven't seen in a while, which is, it's also nice to do that in the UK. I spend too much of my time in other countries seeing what's happening elsewhere. So it's good to see what's happening on the local side. I'm surprised to see that things like cloud computing is so significant here in Bristol. There's so much happening. So it's a good chance to catch up with people, see what's happening with all of that. And then I'll get to spend some more time this afternoon seeing what else is happening here. Thank you. You will have also seen throughout the day our Happy Vox Days volunteers in their bright yellow t-shirts. Their support was in incredibly useful throughout the day, making sure that you had uh, a pleasant, enjoyable, and hopefully informative uh, Vox Days Bristol 2016. I'm Charlie, I'm a level three student, I'm connected with DevOps through my sisters. I believe it'd be a good way to get my foot in the door into working in IT in later life. I've really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to volunteering again. My name's Tom, um, I'm a final year student at uni, studying digital media. Um, I've been interested in DevOps um, and Vox Days Bristol because of the cloud technology conversations. And the reason why that sort of interests me is I've started up my own business um, which relies heavily on cloud technology. Um, so I thought it was a great opportunity to save some money, volunteer, um, and get some incredible insight and knowledge from more technologically expert people than me. I'm David. Um, I will be doing uh, robotics at UE next year. And I found out about Vox through John, and with whom I did uh, volunteering in the robotics and not so long ago. Um, I look forward to coming in um, future conferences in order to meet potential future employers. And uh, yeah, it was really interesting coming today. Vox Days is part of a much wider ecosystem, and you'll have seen Lucy Carey from Vox.com around all day doing her own interviews and sessions. Those are online now and will be populated alongside our own videos. So keep an eye on your email newsletters, the vox.com website, and hbb.org.uk for links to all those interviews and news items. Hi, my name's Lucy. I'm the editor of vox.com, and uh, 
I'm here at Vox Days Bristol, actually my first Vox Days event that I've been to in person. Um, although obviously working with the people at DevOps, I'm a bit of a serial conference junkie. Uh, so this is my first conference of 2016 and I have to say I am really impressed. I love the venue, it's a really nice open space, it's a really great set up that you've got the cinema rooms for the conference sessions but then you've got the docks and you've got this lovely open area for people to get together and network and mingle. Um, there's a really nice vibe, it's relaxed but at the same time people are getting together and talking about really exciting new projects and things and it's actually great to meet a tech community outside of London because although in London you get in your little bubble there's actually lots of exciting things happening. In Bristol you've got Flocker, you've got by Cluster HQ you've got Oracle developers here as well. I mean, there's so many people who have something to say that maybe don't have the chance to get down to London so you wouldn't get to meet normally. So it's really fantastic to be here. Hello, my name's Matthew Ravel and uh, I work at Couchbase in the developer advocacy team. I'm here at Vox uh, Bristol today mostly because um, I'm really, really keen to see developer events happen outside of London. Now, I like London, but there is a world elsewhere. And we've got a lot of really great cities in the UK, uh, Bristol among them, where there's, there are interesting things happening. And uh, I, you know, going back a few years, the, the Linux user group scene was really, really uh, vibrant in lots of different cities. And as the Linux group scene has maybe died off a little bit, I feel like we've become a little too centralised in London with developer events. So that's one of the reasons why, why I'm here to support an event that's not in London. But also, I know that the Vox events and the DevOx events are always really great quality. So you'll get to, to meet people, some of them familiar faces, some of them new, who uh, always have something interesting to say. And not just the speakers as well, just walking around, having a cup of tea, you can always get a, a good chat with someone who's working on something interesting or you know has, has interesting questions to ask or, or whatever it might be. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I always like to support the Vox and DevOps events and uh, I'm fortunate enough today to be speaking myself, I'll be uh, chatting about NoSQL databases, so that's uh, something I enjoy doing. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be uh, sure to come back next year if it, if it happens again. So congrats to everyone involved and uh, uh, I'll be seeing some of you in Zurich next week. Hi, I'm Grant and I'm a volunteer here at Vox today. Um, basically, this is an event where uh, people from the tech industry come here to talk about uh, their industry and things like cloud storage, cloud data, um, programming, things like that. So um, my job as a volunteer here is to basically help organise the event and show all the people around to the different rooms. So you've got breaks and things like that in between, so if you come here you can you sign up and you come get your badge, go to all the events, you meet loads of people from the industry, loads of different companies, loads of tech companies, all that sort of stuff, programming and all that stuff. So. Um, yeah, so it's great to meet people and it's also great to learn things about the industry, where the industry is currently at, and the past and the future and things like that. So even if you're someone who isn't really too sure about the industry, then you can still come and you can talk to the people who are and they can sort of show you the ropes. And if you are experienced, then you can come and actually be one of the sort of mentor guys and be one of the speakers. If you're a speaker, then you'll go into the, um, you'll go into the talks and you'll actually stand at the front, obviously, and speak to all the people, Q&A, things like that, talking about all your companies and you can make a lot of contacts this way as well. As a volunteer I've, I've, I've gotten a lot of contacts uh, doing this, I've done loads of volunteering over the past year or so and it's really really widened my scope of, of, of my area in the industry. I've got loads of contacts now and I'd recommend it for any student, um, not just about um, making contacts in the industry but it's also about uh, uh, improving your social skills and things like that that's what that's the sort of stuff it's going to do so it'll help you come out your shell it'll help you get lots of contacts and, and at the end of the day if you're looking for a good job in the future then that's definitely going to be a foundation for that and I look forward to doing it again uh, especially with Voxed. I'm uh, Duncan Pawley, uh, CTO of Just One Database Inc. I'm here at Vox Days to give a talk about uh, the Internet of Things and how it's going to affect uh, the Internet, the Cloud and Data Analytics. Um, I've come to this conference or involved in this conference because it's got a lot of interesting subjects going on, a lot of interesting people uh, and actually it's all part of the buzz within Bristol in terms of high, high tech industry. Uh, there's a lot going on in terms of the cloud and in terms of new technology um, and this is a pretty exciting place to be. This is actually my first Fox Days. Uh, what I've seen so far is very interesting, it's good and I'm sure I'll be going to more. Thanks very much.
Mixing with others within the community is a critical part of a great conference. And so the coffee breaks and lunch breaks were our opportunity to give you the space to do that with your co-delegates, but also with our sponsors. Hello, I'm Matthew Perry here from Cat Gemini here at Vox Days Bristol. Um, I'm here today with um, a number of members of uh, our teams in the southwest from Bristol, Gloucester and Cardiff. Uh, we're here to uh, engage with the open source software development community in the southwest. Um, and we're some proud sponsors, uh, platinum sponsors um, of Fox Days. We're here to kind of meet and uh, understand some of the uh, technology innovation that's happening in the area and the people that are involved with that uh, so we can see what we can incorporate into um, our work. We also have um, our own uh, open source software development initiatives, so Capgemini GitHub. Uh, we've got about 150 individual projects on there. Um, and we, we are also sponsors of other conferences around the UK, uh, both formal conferences and unconferences like uh, uh, the uh, uh, Vox Days in London and DevOps in London. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the talks today um, and uh, I'll be looking, looking forward to coming back next year if this is running. At this point, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Oracle and Capgemini, BJSS, IBM, ScotLogic, and BrightPearl. Their support throughout the process has been fantastic and has helped make Vox Days Bristol 2016 a fantastic event. Hi there, my name is Steve Parham. I'm a technical architect for BGSS uh, here in Bristol. Um, BGSS are a, um, a UK and US based company. Um, we are, have just established, established ourselves in, in the Southwest. Uh, uh, we have uh, large offices in Leeds and London. Um, so we've been kind of instrumental in getting um, Vox Day set up as, um, as a gold partner. Um, so it's been really, really important for us to, uh, to make sure that we're part of this uh, in order to obviously drive our own pipeline, get ourselves established in the area and, um, and to ensure that you know, we, we, we can create some business for ourselves and also contribute to the, um, to the technical community in, in, in the southwest itself. Um, it's been important. It's been a great day. Uh, I think some of the speeches have been fantastic. We've uh, we've been fortunate that we've had a, a stand here. We've been able to talk to a lot of people, uh, and it's been really really useful. Uh, we've had some great questions. I've also been involved with the um, the lightning talks, which uh, has been great, and I've also attended a couple as well. Um, so. All in all, uh, a superb experience, which we hope to kind of, um, uh, you know, replicate in the future. And whether Bristol hosts another DevOps um, or a, a Vox Day would be uh, remain to be seen. But uh, I'd, I'd certainly like to get involved in the future. Hi, my name is Nick Hemley, and I work for Scott Logic, and we are a bronze sponsor today at Vox Days. It's been a fantastic event. Uh, Twenty-one speakers and some really good sessions on um, technology, software, and cloud development. It's really great to see that Vox Days is being supported not only by um, large companies such as Oracle, uh, Capgemini, etc., but also SMEs uh, like ScotLogic, um, who I work for, and startups are, are well represented as well, um, not only through um, speakers, um, but also um, through the exhibition space that we have here at Vox Days. There's lots of very interesting things that are happening. Um, lots of really good conversations and connections that, that have been made. And I think that Scologic recognised the value of the conversations um, throughout the day. We're obviously, uh, as a rec tech recruiter uh, in Bristol, we're interested in, in software developers and talking to software developers. Um, and we also recognise that people need a forum in which to share ideas and exchange ideas. And this becomes a melting pot um, for, for different things that are happening in Bristol. And, and that is... It really shows that the, the depth within Bristol because there are small companies and large companies collaborating together. I think that's really, really healthy for the tech cluster. So Vox Days, for me, is a fabulous event. It's something that I hope will become a fixture within the conference scene in Bristol. Um, I personally um, would like to see more events of, of this type within Bristol uh, and with an interest in, in software and software development. Um, and I can only see that the, the, it supports the scene, it supports the industry, and the industry is strengthened by the presence of such events here. Hi, I'm John Holloway. Uh, I'm Chief Architect at Bright Pill. Um, we're an inventory kind of uh, management kind of system that uh, is deployed on kind of the AWS cloud and provides kind of uh, retail management for about 1,400 businesses. Um, 
I was involved in Box Days Bristol in terms of the programme committee and getting kind of the speakers together for the day. Um, it's been great so far. We've had a whole bunch of great speakers on things from kind of JDK9 through to kind of concurrency Lego trains and um, uh, kind of Docker and Kubernetes. So it's um, good for the kind of uh, the Bristol scene. I also run the Bristol Java Meetup, um, and it's kind of something that helps kind of get people in for that as well. And grow Bristol not just as a tech scene, but as a centre of excellence. Thanks very much. Traditionally, Vox Days has always had a heavy Java content, and we saw that in Bristol as well. But we also saw an awful lot of architecture and Kubernetes activities with containers. This was reflected in Professor David Cliff's plenary keynote that started the conference, where he talked about some of the cutting edge research at the University of Bristol, but also critically the links between research and industry, and some of the activities here in Bristol that are bringing those two worlds together. The rest of the program focused on the industry topics that came out from the submitted talks, uh, talking around Java and programming and Erlang, talking about the cloud data with big data and analytics, and with cloud architecture with lots of Kubernetes and container talks. Hi, I'm Joran Jansson. I'm today at Vox Bristol, which is a really nice event in Bristol, um, with a really nice location. And normally I'm working for a company called Infosport in the Netherlands, where I do projects for large uh, companies where I build Java applications or Scala applications. Uh, but next to that, I like to play with different stuff. For instance, building Lego trains with uh, Java or a Scala running on top of them with Raspberry Pis. And that was one of the sessions I did today. And next to that, I gave another session about running Docker on a Raspberry Pi with Java. So I like to do uh, and try different stuff and talk about it on conferences to get other people excited about it as well. Um, because it's not only fun, you can still use the, these things to learn uh, new ways of working for the projects that you're currently in. Uh, for instance, we learned a lot about Akka and are, are planning to start using it in other projects. Um, so now I'm looking forward to the next sessions and I will hope you enjoy Vox in the future as well. Hello there, my name is Simon Ritter and I am the Deputy CTO of Azure Systems. I'm here at the Vox Days Bristol and this is actually the second Vox Day that I've attended. I did the very first one last year back in I think it was January in Vienna and I've got to say that these events are proving to be very impressive in terms of the attendees, in terms of the organisation. I think that the, the organisers have really learnt a lot from DevOps, which is what they really originated from. And the idea of using cinemas as a venue for this type of event is, is just really perfect because it gives you comfy seats, it gives you great audio visual capabilities, um, there's room to have meetings, there's room to have stands from different companies and you know you've got food and drink and all those sorts of things. So it's been a very well organized event. Um, for Bristol I think it's it's really kind of opened my eyes to what's going on in Bristol. I've you know I knew that we had um, companies that were working here, I knew about HP, I knew about IBM, I knew about Oracle but it's very interesting from my point of view to have seen the keynote presentation that we have from Bristol University because that really highlighted just how much creativity and activity is going on in Bristol at the moment uh, around a lot of interesting things you know to do with in internet of things to do with cloud computing especially so th there's a huge number of things going on here that I really wasn't aware of and that's that's kind of opened my eyes to that and I'm very much looking forward to working on some of the other Vox Days and DevOx events. Uh, I know I'll be at DevOx in the UK. Um, I hope to be at DevOx in Belgium later this year. And in fact, next week, I'm going to be at the Vox Days in Zurich. So I think these are a great set of events, very well organized. Um, I, I love coming to them. I'm hoping to come to a lot more. Thank you. Vox Days Bristol was hosted at the iconic Watershed building here in Bristol. The Watershed's been a long supporter of technology, creative industries, and bringing together of different communities. And the layout provided for some great networking opportunities, as well as the fantastic cinemas um, with all their recording facilities that will help with the videos that you'll be seeing online. Waterside 3 was our exhibition space, and that gave our sponsors an opportunity to set out their stalls on the research activities, the industrial developments, and the opportunities for working with them in the future. Building community is important, and we worked closely with the Bristol Java, Southwest Cloud, and BrizTech communities here in Bristol to promote what we were doing, and also to give as many developers as possible an opportunity to come to Vox Days Bristol 2016. 
Vox Days is all about the developer community, and we really want to hear from you about how we can make Vox Days Bristol 2017 even better than our last event. So please do get in touch. Let us know what talks you'd like, what sessions you'd like. If there are changes to the program structure, please let us know. We're taking all those into account in our planning. If you're a prospective sponsor, please also get in touch because we'd really like to make the event of value to you as well. We also place great value on our volunteers. Their input and contribution helps make this event go smoothly. If you'd like to volunteer, please also get in touch with me. We'd love to have you along next year. Once again, thank you for a fantastic Vox Days Bristol 2016. It was an amazing event with over 200 attendees. If you'd like to be part of Vox Days Bristol 2017, do get in touch with me, john.bradford at hbb.org.uk. Sign up to the mail list, join the community, and I look forward to welcoming you to Bristol in 2017.